Farmers plant crops that do everything from feed livestock herds to putting veggies on your plate. And with the extreme heat and drought, many of them are suffering reduced crops or a full crop loss as a result. I was able to speak with local ranchers to find out more. Kelly Giles pays close attention to weather trends. We run about a three-year running average calculation uh, of rainfall. He co-owns Giles Angus Ranch, a 1,200 cattle head operation in Canyon. Even though he's not a meteorologist, forecasting weather is just as important to his operation. As the rainfall starts to decrease on average month by month, we cut back ahead of time. And so just kind of stretch it out so that we can hold our, our main herd together. Our Drought conditions are drying up profits for area ranchers due to early sell-offs of cattle because of high feed and maintenance prices. But it's also proving extremely challenging for area farmers. We have seen crops burn up. We have seen farmers disaster crops. We have seen crops abandoned. Bill says when it comes to crop production, it's important to remember we're in a global economy. What's significant about our past wheat crop, the 2021 to 2022 wheat crop, across the state we were below average. And this was um, one of the lowest statewide wheat crops in probably the last 20 years at least. And it's not just wheat taking a heavy hit. Most of the corn, for example, that we do grow in this region, region is feed corn and this is corn that's going into our livestock industry. So when we have reduced corn production in this region, our livestock producers are more dependent on corn from other regions. Bell tells us much of the corn used by area ranchers is shipped in by rail. But the less corn we produce here results in higher shipping costs from other regions. But with very little rainfall and groundwater, what about irrigation? But we have now reached a point where many producers no longer have the ability to irrigate. And so now they are having to revert back to dry land production. Because dry land production depends on seasonal precipitation or stored water, Bell says it's important to be aware of how much water is stored for the next crop. Not only see an impact to our current cropping season, but we're looking at an impact moving into our winter cropping season. An impact that will be felt both now. Over time, drought or not, we've got groundwater. Water, groundwater issues that we have to address and we have to do our planning. And into the future. Bell says in addition to wheat and corn production, cotton crops in the northern panhandle will have very low yields this year. As a result, the regional cotton marketing system from gins to transportation will all feel the ripple effects of a reduced crop.